Audible.com is the internet's leading provider of spoken audio entertainment. Content from Audible is downloaded and played back on personal computers, CDs, iPods, your iPhone. Listen whenever and wherever you want. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from, every genre, so fiction, nonfiction, health, fitness, you know, whatever you're into, they've definitely got the book. Audible has it covered. Your choice. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing and pick up the book of your choice. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz, I'm your host, and I'm so glad to be back with you to teach another class. Now this episode, I had an idea sent to me, uh, an email by Sevia. I hope that's how you pronounce it, Sevia. And she says, Chaz, can you do yoga for the kidneys? And of course, my answer as always is yes. I like this idea because it's very specific to our organs and we wanna make sure that we keep our uh, kidneys um, cleansed and detox. And that's what we always do with yoga, but these series of poses are going to be very specific to cleansing uh, the kidneys. So thank you, Sevia, for this idea. And if you have a class idea, please send it to me, Chaz, yogamazing.com. Of course, you can always find me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. And also, I want to remind you that Yoga Amazing 24-7 has been officially launched. If you would like to see the archive of the past episodes in streaming version in HD format with no talking and no advertising, Go to yogamazing.com and subscribe today. It's only $9.99 a month, or you can even subscribe for a year and save some money. So thank you all for your never-ending support. And remember, as we go through today's class, to breathe, relax, and have fun in this edition of the Yoga Amazing video podcast. Okay, from here, let's open up our knees and bring it into child's pose. Remember to stretch out your arms, bring your forehead to the floor, and just breathe here and relax, taking the first few moments of class just to become focused and present in the moment. Remember, big inhales, big exhales. This is what's known as Ujjayi breathing, where we inhale through the nose, hollow the throat, expand the chest and lungs, and then exhale back through the throat, through the nose. Remember, it's smooth, continuous, flowing, never changing. Think of it as your metronome for the poses. Whether the poses are simple or hard, the breath remains constant and the same. So take a few moments here. From here, let's bring it up to your hands and knees. We're gonna do the cat and the cow pose. A great pose to do. I always tell people if you're just waking up and you wanna get a yoga pose in, this is probably one of the best to do. It's great for awakening the spine. So from here, we're gonna inhale, look up, shoulder blades down, spread the sits bones, and as you exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze your abs. Inhale, looking up. And exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up. Round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up. Round, tuck, and squeeze. Two more. Inhale, looking up. Round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up. And round, tuck, and squeeze. From here, <clears throat> bring your, uh, dig your toes in the mat. Let's take it into a downward facing dog. Remember to dig your toes in. You're gonna come up and then push back. Keep your knees slightly bent. Because a lot of times when people straighten their legs, they start doing this. It's almost like a push up, a rounded push up. We don't want that. So, as I always say, I come into this class cold, just like you. So I gotta let my hamstrings open. Remember, we're going for an upside down V, not a soft in. So breathe, deepen the breath. Spread your fingers, have the heels behind the feet, long neck, deep breath. From here, look between your hands, bring the right knee forward into a pigeon. So from here, <clears throat> you're gonna lift into the heart. Just 
just hold it here for a moment. You're going to feel it right here in your cheek. So lift into the heart. And then I want you to lay it out on the floor. Stretch your arms out and don't let yourself drop to your butt bottom. Square the body up and distribute your weight evenly as you melt into the mat. And then we're going to slowly come up and go back to a down dog. <coughs> Stay here and breathe. Get the stretch. And then bring the left knee through. Same thing. Lift into the heart. Don't drop to your bottom. Square the body up. <coughs> and then lengthen it out and stretch it out. Drop your forehead to the floor, remember. Or if you can't, then prop yourself up on your forearms. If it's too intense and keep yourself squared up. That's the most important thing to remember. Slowly release, bring it up, hold, go back to a down dog. Everybody bend your knees, push it back, upside down V. And then you're gonna walk your hands and feet in closer together. And then you're just gonna stay hinged over and take your palms up and just hang like a rag doll. And then roll it up vertebrae by vertebrae, arms into the air, hands to the chest. Good. Now, from here, let's open up our legs. Wide stance. And we're just going to do a nice big side angle. So we're going to bend that knee. Okay, get yourself set. Put the arm on the leg. Point the fingers towards me. And then take that other arm and reach. So you get that stretch all the way through the side. So reach, looking under the arm towards the ceiling, deep in the breath. And then we're going to come up, we're going to rotate to the other side, take it down and reach. Looking under the arm towards the ceiling, pointing with both hands deep in the breath. And then bringing it up, we go your feet together. And then from here, you're just gonna do ragdoll again, just for a moment, drop it down. And take it back to a down dog. And then from here, drop to your knees, and you're gonna lay on your stomach for a moment. Now from here, hands to the chest, chin to the floor for a cobra. We're gonna do two of these, inhale. And as you exhale, lift. I want you to lift the chest. Remember, you're not pushing with the arms, you're lifting with the lower back, firming up your thighs and your bottom. Keep your neck neutral with the spine. 
release, turn your head, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. Chin to the floor, inhale, and as you exhale, bring it back up, cobra. Again, deep in the breath. And chin to the floor. Bend your knees, grab your feet for the bow. Inhale. And as you exhale, kick the legs back and rock a little bit. Here. Just going to do one of these. And release. Child's pose. Push it back. Stretch it out. up. Now from here, I don't know if we've ever done this one or not in class, but we're going to do it today. So we're going to grab our feet, grab our big toes. Or actually first, before we do that, let's get into the bound angle butterfly to start with, because this will actually lead us into the pose even a little bit better. So we're just going to uh, grab our feet, little toe to the heel touching. And we want to make sure that we drop our knees. Now, you may be up a little bit higher or you may be all the way down, but just honor where you are. That's all you got to do. But no slouching, no rounding of the back, straight spine, shoulder blades down the back. Now, from here, grab your big toes. And we're going to bring this up into an upward leg spread. So we're going to bring it up. You want to bend your knees first to get into it, and then you can take it up like this. Draw the shoulder blades down and lift the legs. Balance on your bottom. And you're going to slowly release it down like that. Now, from here, we're just going to, a lot of times when people do this, they start rounding and they start doing this. We don't want that. So if you have to stay here, stay here, so that you do not uh, go into the, the pose incorrectly. Now, because I want you to hinge, and it's like you come up on top of the pubic bone, so that it's like a bowl, you tilt it. You don't round it out of the back, okay? So wherever you can be, stay here if you have to. If you can bring your arms forward, bring it a little bit forward. Deep in the breath. Walk it up. Now rotate to your leg and just take a little bow. And you're going to bring it up and rotate to the other side. Release, bring it up, grab under the knees to help and bring it in. Now, from here, twisting pose. So we're gonna take the leg through, take the leg over, and we're gonna squeeze that leg in. It's a nice way to cleanse the toxins. That's why you, you do these type of poses. And so just hold like this, and then twist looking over the shoulder. and release. Let's rotate it to the other side now. <clears throat> Let's rotate it through. Same thing. Take that leg, really give the squeeze in here nice and tight, then hold. Look over the shoulder, deep in the breath. Good, and then we're going to release. Now from here, we're going to be doing Janu Shirshasana single leg stretch. Now, so we're going to take the leg in, inner thigh, all the way up. There you go. And then you're going to rotate towards that leg. And again, depending on how open or how tight you are, just go where you can go. So, and a lot of times people can put a pillow here if they want, whatever, whatever works for you. So arms up, big inhale. Then as you exhale, go down and grab the foot. 
Don't let one shoulder lead in front of the other. Square, square it up. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. Take it deeper. Looking towards the foot, not the knee. And release. Let's rotate to the other side. Same concept. Take the other foot into the inner thigh. Now, like for me, a few years back, I think I've talked about this in the past, I injured my knee. So it's kind of hard for me to go full tilt into this pose. So when I always say honor your body, honor your body, because so what I've got to do is I've got to tuck mine under a little bit, uh, because if not to torque on the knee is uh, bothersome to me. Uh, so I do what I need to do to get into the pose properly. You do the same thing. So I may even try it this way, but I only know that I can only go so deep. So arms up, big inhale. And as you exhale, take it down and look up, lengthen. And as you exhale, deepen. Now, for me, this is as far as I want to go personally because of the torque on my knee. And I know how far I want to go with this. So you go as far as you want to go with the pose. But remember to breathe and deepen into the pose. and release. From here, let's lie on our back and we're gonna take it into a bridge pose. So from here, walk your feet in and we're going to lift the hips, interlock our fingers, tuck the shoulder blades deep in the breath. And then release, bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae. We climb butterfly, palms up. And knees together, squeeze it in. Good, arms to a T and legs to the right, look to the left. and rotate to the other side. Back to the center, big hug. And stretch it on the floor for resting pose, Shavasana. Take these next few minutes and just absorb it all, breathe it all, and relax. And allowing yourself to heal from the inside out. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste.